looks like I found a good deal on a Tasha pen. So I pounced on it. I did, I couldn't help it. I've been wanting a Tasha pen for a while. Every pen they put out, it just seemed, they're just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. I found a great price over at Chatterley Luxuries and I ended up getting the Tasha Kaku Tate with the thin stripes in midnight red. Yes, I've already inked it. I had to, I couldn't just let this sit on my desk and not ink it and use it and love it. But yeah, I inked it. I inked it and I loved it and I'm still loving it. And look at that pen. But I wanna show you this packaging that this pen came in. It did come in really nice packaging as a matter of fact. It comes in this green box, kind of an olive green box with the Tasha logo on the front of it or on the top of it. And you open it up. So inside the box is another box. It's a very lightweight wooden box with the Tasha logo also on top of that. And you open it up. And so the pen actually was wrapped in this little pen kimono or pen sleeve. And you know what's crazy is that, I mean, it's a lovely pen sleeve, but you know, I was just really surprised how rough it feels on my hands. Again, for a Yurushi pen, you know, I, I think the, the Platinum Izumo also came with uh, really a, a not usable pen kimono. And so yeah, I'll be keeping the pen and something else, but not this. So, but I thought that was a very nice touch that the pen came in this type of presentation. Another piece of information here of the, the Kaku Tate limited edition, by the way, it is limited edition in the thin stripe. It also comes in a wide stripe, but I went with a thin stripe and the thin stripe in midnight red and it's really it's really lovely and then it came with another piece of information here so we've got tasha and the date that it was purchased you know for warranty purposes and where it came from and in here this is the lifetime limited limited lifetime warranty so i've got that and it came with two ink cartridges which i'll probably never use and then inside of the box, it's this little velvet lined situation going on here. You know, it's real nice and soft. It's really soft actually. So that's what the pen came in. So it's a very, you know, very nice presentation. I could always appreciate nice presentations, but I do appreciate it when companies do cut corners on the packaging in order to put more more of that value onto the pen. So I kind of feel like this does that in a way because it's not so over the top or anything like that. Okay, so now let's talk about this pen. So like I said, it is a limited edition. It is numbered and is also signed. There are only 100 pens like this in the world and I have number 16. So it has gold trim. And like I mentioned earlier, it is Yurushi. Yes, I'm still on my Yurushi kick. I'm still loving Yurushi. In fact, in the future, I will have some reviews from Wancher pens. I've got some Yurushi pens on the way from there. And so the one thing I love about this pen, because I've been using it for a week now, every time I take this cap off and put it back on, the stripes line up every single time. So nothing is off. And you might notice that that faceted cap, in fact, it has 12 facets on it and how beautifully it reflects the light. I just, I love that. I love that simplicity in design, but that, it, you know, that detail where it could reflect light and just be gorgeous. So the pen does have an ebonite base and then the artisans, over in Japan, what they do is they put about a thousand coats of Yurushi lacquer on it. So this one has two colors. We've got black and red. And so I imagine how they do this is they put the black, the red Yurushi on first and put black over it and then sand it down to where some of the red is showing. 
and that way you get these two different colors. And so the red only shows up like on, you know, makes these nice lines on each facet. And then at the very top of the cap, as well as the bottom of the cap, and then right here at the bottom of the barrel. So you can see some of this beautiful red that peeks through that black. So I, I really love this color contrast. And as you can see, the clip is gold. Is it springy? Actually, yeah, it has a little spring to it. So if you wanna clip this onto your shirt or clip it onto a pen case or whatever you clip your pen to, you could totally do that. You could totally do that. After all these coats of Urishi, they put a final coat of Urishi on it to protect all that work that went into this pen. So again, like I mentioned previously with my Mr. Cypress pens, I just appreciate so much the work and the patience that goes into creating these pens. I mean, they really are like these works of art, which the, the final result is just gorgeous, just beautiful. This is a cartridge converter system, but I'm, before I talk about, we'll get to that, but let's take a look at that nib. I'm taking the cap off, by the way. This pen does not post, and I wouldn't really want to post it anyway, especially on a Urishi lacquered uh, body like this anyway. I, I wouldn't want to risk scratching this up or sh anywhere showing on it, but it does have a beautiful two colored or duo colored 14 karat gold nib. Now, this was the only pen that Chatterley Luxuries had and it came in an extra fine. And so I was like, well, you know, I don't really do an extra fine nib very often, but you know, I was like, eh, why not? Why not? Let's try something different. I've got a Tasha with a music nib in it. Uh, don't, it's, a, it's not like one of these fancy Tashas. It's one of their, their lower end pens, but I, have, I do happen to have a gold nib in it. Um, but this one has a nice extra fine nib on it. And I like it so far actually. And it is a cartridge converter. So you take the barrel off and there is your cartridge with the ink in it. I've got it inked right now with Pilot Irushu Zuko. Fuyo Soyogun. It's just, it's a really nice gray ink. I love gray inks. And the section is real nice. It looks like it is also has Urishi on it. And then you can see that red come right back here, right at the very end of it, which is just a nice touch. The one gripe I have, I always have a gripe. I know, I know. But that feed, it's plastic. I would really like this feed to have been ebonite that would have been really nice you know i'm kind of a brat like that so but the one great thing i could say about this nib it is created by sailor so it is a sailor nib with the tasha branding on it and it writes so nice so very nice in fact the writing sample that you're going to see I did create a separate writing, like inking and writing thing, but it turns out that the camera didn't record it. So what you're gonna end up seeing instead is a reel that I made for Instagram because it has me actually, you know, showing, unboxing the pen and writing with the pen, but you will not see me actually inking the pen. I mean, how many times, honestly, do you need to see me ink a pen? Go ahead, I'll, I'll give you a second to think about it while I put this cap back on in case, because I don't want to drop this pen and just mess it up. By the way, the cap has a little cushion fit in there, so you can kind of feel it when it goes in there, when the nib goes in. It keeps the nib nice and wet and ready to write with, which is super nice. I hate pens that have a hard start. I mean, when I'm ready to write with a pen, I want it to write, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure you all feel the same way, right? So yeah, this pen is just, I love it. I'm loving it. Well, let's go ahead and check out that reel that I made for Instagram and
So as you can see, the Tasha Extra Fine Nib writes great. The ink flow is great. For an extra fine, it actually writes very smooth. You know, I've had, I've had fine nibs. I've had some extra fine nibs where you write with it and man, it's like a needle cutting into paper. I mean, it's just way too fine, but this actually is very smooth. I didn't even have to tune the nib at all when I got it. I mean, it wrote perfectly, perfectly out of the box. Yeah, there's sometimes I get, you know, some of these, these Yovo still nibs I get, sometimes I gotta drag it across, you know, some micro mesh and just get it just right. You know, sometimes that happens and that's okay. This pen out of the box writes awesome, which I wouldn't expect anything less to be honest with you. This pen is very limited. I don't really see it for sale um, in very many places. It came out, I think it came out like a year or two ago. And as you can see, you know, it's very limited, but if you can find them, they have them in other colors. I believe there's like a green one, blue one. Um, I can't think of any of the other colors, but yeah, if you could find one, I, I, I recommend it. I do. I, I think it's a nice, simplistically beautiful pen that writes really well. I mean, this is like an everyday writer type of pen but it's just so gorgeous. So the MSRP for this pen is $995. So yeah, that's actually a lot cheaper than some of the other limited editions that Tasha puts out. Like most of the Tasha limited editions that I've seen out there, they cost, you know, between $1,200 to $2,000. I mean, these are some, they're top notch. They are top notch. They're good pens. So, yeah, I've seen them, but I think for $9.95 for MSRP for a pen like this, I don't think it's horrible. Now, I didn't get it for $9.95. Oh, no, no, no. That's a lot of money. No, I got this way less. I was looking around Chatterley Luxuries, and I came across this. The only one, the only one they had, and also the cheapest that I found it, and I got this for $595. Same price as a Mr. Cypress pen that comes with a steel nib. So what did I do? I pounced all over it. I got it and I did a, uh, and I said, yes, I got my first Tasha pen. I hope it's not my last. I mean, I guess I need to start playing the lottery so I can start winning some money or get a 10th job or do something to support this habit. Or donations, donations are always accepted, hey? I don't see this pen everywhere, but I have seen it over at Iguana Cell. And Iguana Cell currently has this pen for $845. So I personally feel like I got a really great deal on this pen. So especially with it being a limited edition, yeah, I did well. You did good, girl. Thanks. Well, that's all I have to say about this pen. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you learned a little more about the Tasha. And that's how the ink flows.